Welcome to The Real News Network. I'm Jessel Nor in Baltimore. The government shutdown has entered its second week, and one of its casualties has been the Environmental Protection Agency's ability to clean up Superfund sites. Cleanup at 505 toxic sites in 47 states have been suspended during the shutdown. Now joining us to discuss this is Kate Shepard. She's an award-winning journalist and senior reporter and environment and energy editor at the Huffington Post. Thank you so much for joining us, Kate. Hey, thanks for having me. So Kate, the government shutdown has forced 94% of the EPA staff on furlough. What impact is this having, especially on Superfund cleanup? Well, you know, you said the, the, the numbers. I mean, a lot of these sites are not being cleaned up at all at this point in time. Um, you know, the day before the shutdown, the EPA announced that they were going to start doing cleanup at an, uh, you know, a new Superfund site, and now they can't do that at all either. Um, basically, unless the toxic waste is, like, immediately threatening people's lives, they can't do cleanup right now. Um, and so that means that a lot of these sites that they've been working on for a long time are, are on hold, and, you know, it, it's just sort of delaying a lot of work that, um, that really needs to be happening at the EPA right now. And can you give us a, a little background on what, on what kind of contamination um, falls under the Superfund designation and its significance? Uh, sure. So these sites include um, you know, places where they, uh, like old refineries, where they have um, storage units that have been leaking, or um, you know, a lot of places you know, like they're, they have oil and gas leaks that they're trying to clean up. Um, you know, there's a number of different sites that are considered um, part of this cleanup, brownfields, um, in addition to Superfund sites. Um, and so PCB contamination, I mean, they cover quite a few different kinds of contamination across the country. And so um, should the public be concerned about this? Should people be protesting or demanding that Congress at least partially fund these, these programs? Well, I mean, it's, you know, it's part of this broader shutdown, right? I mean, I'm, I'm not the one that thinks you, says you should go out and specifically fund <laughs> just these programs. I mean, I think all of the programs that the uh, various agencies do are you know, important in one way or another. Um, Absolutely, this is one that I think is really important. I think the sheer number of people who have been affected at EPA, 94%, is really, really high. Um, you know, it's compared to you know, the few other agencies have been as affected. I think NASA's is the other one that's up there. It's like 97% of people have been uh, furloughed. So, I mean, it's about, to me, it's about ending the shutdown overall and getting, you know, any number of people back to work uh, who are doing not just super fun cleanup, but a lot of different important uh, science and research and enforcement jobs around the country. And uh, at the EPA, it's not just workers who are um, working on Superfund sites. Can you talk about some of the other um, aspects of the EPA that are being uh, crippled by, these, by the, the shutdown? So basically every aspect um, at the EPA that's not um, deemed, uh, sorry, uh, the, the, every aspect that's uh, not working on direct threats to human life. Um, so that means uh, super fun cleanup. It also means people who are um, working on developing new regulations. Um, so people who are working on the greenhouse gas regulations the EPA has been working on for the last few years, they can't do their work right now. Um, it's including people who are uh, looking at hazardous chemicals and doing research about um, maybe how they might affect humans. Uh, those people can't do their work right now either. Uh, like you said, it's 94% of the agency, which is the vast majority of people doing all the different kinds of important work that happens at the EPA who can't work right now. Kate Shepard, thank you so much for joining us. Yeah, thanks for having me. Thank you for joining us on The Real News Network.